All right, Eggman. I'm gonna fuck you with my dong. You think you can keep up? What? What? Tails, wait for me. Why would he tell Tails to wait for him? That's the other thing too. In the games and in uh, in the games mainly, robotics kind of depicted is like like he's an evil genius, but he's kind of depicted as being like you know like uh you know whatever. It's like he, he's kind of like a goofball. He's like like a dumb evil genius, if that makes any sense. He's like he makes all these incredible schemes, and he kind of just acts like a goofball. In the comic. He is a pretty badass, like in the original 40 or so comics, he's a pretty big badass. I mean, he's a pretty like goofy character, but then after that, man, he gets become like really sinister. <coughs> in comic 50, he fucking attempts to literally kill off the characters, and he actually temporarily succeeds at it. Uh, he drops them off a building, and, and you see them hit the ground. They, uh, they pretty much die, and he don't really give a fuck. In another uh, part of the comic, he literally nukes the entire village and gets away with it. He actually wipes an entire part of their Earth, so to speak, off of the uh, face of it, pretty much. And Sonic goes ape shit, and then he knocks Eggman across the entire fucking globe, and literally drives him across the globe, a la Superman 2. How would I miss that? How, how would I miss that? You think you can keep up with me? Every life is entirely over, so that's great. Yeah, Sonic gets pretty pissed in the comics. Uh, conversely, Sonic's personality in the comics is a lot more complex than it is in here, and he pretty much, uh, oh my god. He pretty much doesn't give a fuck at times. The comic also has its share, though, of pretty uh, trollolo moments, like when Sonic gets blasted halfway across the universe, basically, like, and picks up all these, like, alien techniques, like how Goku did in Dragon Ball Z, and then alien creatures come to the planet, and they have to like communicate with them and they actually prevent everybody from being roboticized from that point on and then that means that like Robotnik loses his roboticization because he was a robot but then some other bullshit happens and another storyline where Sonic gets roboticized but since he collected a million rings he was immune to roboticization so I mean there's there's kind of like a lot of kind of troll -a low moments in there Wait, how have you read 2,000 comic issues? Are you talking about 2,000 comics in general? Yeah, there's been an ongoing Sonic comic since about 1994, 1995. I've read pretty much every one of those fuckers. There's alternatively, if you're in Europe, there's another Sonic comic called literally Sonic the Comic that stopped a few years back because I guess they just didn't have funding for it anymore, but the American comic's still going on. That one's a little bit different too because Sonic the comic is weird and that Sonic is a fucking asshole in it. He literally tells tail he literally says to Tails that Tails is like an idiot and he hates him and he doesn't like him and he's a jerk and he's useless and he's like a pinhead and everything else. So he's kind of an asshole in this. And Knuckles is basically Australian as fuck. He's like, oh yeah boy, how you do that? He's fucking good job, Sonic. He's like super Australian, so that's kinda of funny. And then uh, Tails is literally, well, he is kind of an idiot in the comics. And then Robotnik is, like, literally just a fucking maniac in the comics. He's, like, completely nut job. And then uh, Super Sonic is in the European comics, and he factors in really big time. Because unlike in the games, where Super Sonic's, like, a good guy and invincible and all that shit, Super Sonic is represented as an alternate version of Sonic that's a manifestation of his rage and anger that comes out whenever Sonic loses his fucking mind. And so this actual alternate version separates from Sonic and will generally try and kill his friends and allies. So it's actually a pretty big plot point in that comic as compared to the Western comic where it's just like, you know, LOL, Super Sonic. <clears throat> Although in the Western comic, they have like eight different fucking versions of super shit that goes on, like Hyper Tales and legendary tales and all this other bullshit that basically sounds like it's out of fucking Dragon Ball Z where you've got Mystic Gohan and everything. You think you can keep up with me? 
Do you guys think I know enough about Sonic? Do you think I've read enough about that? I'm not sure. I don't, I'm not sure on that. I, I might have a little bit. A little bit. <clears throat> I fucking made it! Suck a dick! <clears throat> Later, Frosty. Get some sleep. That wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad. I mean, for God's sake, I had a Sonic statue in my backyard. So, you know, that should tell you right there. It's Robotnik! So you beat me to the missile, you little best. I will make you all pay for this. Damn, Robotnik's gonna kill a bitch. Later, Keith, and later, Caitlin. I'm glad that you were here to watch, and you need to get your sleep. And holy shit, it's a fucking spider fuck. You Good night, Benderbot. Get that job interview done. Do not miss out. I'm not scared. I'm not scared. I can do this. I can fuck this. I thought I was about to say Egg Wang. Um, I'm not sure if I'll play other games than I might. Get a load of piss. Drink a load of piss. Like, I can just fly out there. It's like, whatever. How did I hurt this goddamn guy? I always forgot that. This music is a little bit disturbing. Fuck you, Robotnik. I'll kill a bitch. Get a load of piss. Drink a load of piss. You know, urine is actually sterile, unless somebody's got an STD. Like, what the fuck do I do here? I honestly forgot how the hell to attack this guy. Oh, I try you have to attack his little blue things, don't you? I forgot about that. Fucking spinning and grinning, man. Oh, I can just hold on the button now, that's right. Tried to get up, but didn't really work. There we go. No way. I cannot bequeath this. Roll into a bowl if you've got it. Oh, I tried to fucking jump. <sighs> it's really damaging to have soft, furry tails smack you. It's so damaging. Drink a load of piss. Damn, fucking nuclear missiles on that shit. Come on, Robotnik. I'm gonna fuck you tonight. I like how it like has to like repeat his fucking soundbite. He's not gonna get away with this. Actually, I'm not moving to my new channel once I reach 2,000 videos, just because I rendered out way too many videos, so I'm kind of boned. So I have to put up all those videos before I go to the new channel. So, once I do that, then I will. I rendered a great deal out more than I meant to. So that kind of sucks. The police don't do anything because they're fucking idiots in this game. Can't do shit. Good job, Tails. You saved the day. You saved the day. Well, fuck you in compensation. I did it all by myself. Yeah. Good job, Tails. Good job. You did it. Now you can spin around and become dizzy and just fly off. And as soon as he leaves, you're like, man, what a fucking freak, dude. Jesus Christ. Glad he's on our side. This guy's fucked up in the head, man. Hey, Sonic. Fuck you! You fucking suck! Ha ha ha, stupid cock nobbler. Can't even keep up with me. What a bitch. <clears throat> Look at this shit. I'm flying, my tails are rotating like maybe three revolutions a second. I don't have to fucking try anymore, I'm Jesus. I'm floating in the air. Fucking got a jetpack up my ass. Look at this weak ass Sonic. Can't even keep up with me. 
I'm gonna drop a bomb on his face. <clears throat> and it's all been revealed it's just a dream. Because Tails knows in reality sucks compared to Sonic. <clears throat> He's telling Sonic this. And Sonic's like, man, I can't even stand up straight. I gotta hold my arms out to keep my balance after knowing how much of a bullshit story that was. No, you're not Sonic, alright? Only Sonic gets to do that pose when he jumps off of something. Fucking dick. When I'm alone, I stroke myself. I just go about wishing that my dick could be strong. I really want to fuck him. I'm in my bed. I just go about yearning. I want to be cool. I want to be like him. Okay. Let's think about this for a minute here. Think about the think about this song. Sitting in bed yearning and wanting to be like him. Hmm. Okay. That, that wouldn't mean anything. So Tails, in reality, what the real story is here, is Tails is suffering from sex addiction, and he needs to get a hold of his life. Those two tails spinning furiously are obviously a uh, representation of the furious cycle upon which his life has been swallowed into, and they also represent phallic structures sprouting out of his crotch. How many dicks coming out of him that when he runs fast... When Tails runs fast, multiple tails sprout from his ass, which is why we saw them earlier. Because Tails represents running fast with his secret love, Sonic. And because his secret love is Sonic, it makes him sprout many tail penises at once out of his ass when he's running fast. As it gets him sexually aroused to run fast, as it reminds him of his true love. And that is the real purpose behind the multiple tails and the spiraling. So... Do you guys realize what would happen if I was a lawyer? Like, if I actually researched shit and became a lawyer, do you realize I would probably be able to get a fucking guy from being, like, arrested? I'd probably be able to get a guy acquitted that fucking killed, like, an entire building full of people with, like, a nuclear bomb. I could probably get that motherfucker acquitted. With this, with this kind of shit I come up with. I mean, you can't tell me that didn't make at least some sense if you really think about it. If you really think about it in the aspect that he has a heart on for Sonic and those tails sprout out of his fucking ass and their phalluses that more of them come out when he runs fast. I mean that makes like in some way remote logical sense if you actually think about it that way. And the fact that it does and I came up with that just now is just scary. This is one of the few times on a video I'm gonna toot my own horn about that shit. But I think if I became a lawyer and I researched that shit I would be able to fucking just wreck shit. It wouldn't even be a damn contest. But I'd feel terrible if I ever did actually have a case where I'd have to represent a guy who had killed an entire bullet building full of people with a nuclear bomb. I probably would not represent that case no matter how much money they gave me. But if it was for somebody honest who actually deserved to be acquitted of something they didn't do, I would acquit that motherfucker. I would say, if the glove don't fit, you must acquit. That's why I would say, but I would not say it for the O.J. Simpson case, because that motherfucker was guilty, so that is it. <clears throat> um, the Scampi, there should be a way to reduce the quality. Um, do you, does anybody else know how to do that? You should be able to click the little gear button there to reduce the quality of 360p. Because I know people were watching 360p last time. So you should be able to do that. <laughs> People were watching 360p last time I streamed 480p. 
Hmm. Hmm. I'm not sure. Next time I'll try doing 360p and 480p at the same time. <clears throat> Could be a reason why we have less viewers though. Because there's 480p and 360p. <clears throat> Um, I'll play Dark Souls eventually, I promise. Wow, that looks like assholes. Looks like legit cock nobblers. Oh, I have 14 fucking medals. Jesus. If you honestly got all the medals in Sonic Adventure, man, you're a trooper. Fuck that shit. 